there in a sec. Ah. Ah. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today we are checking out the most secure house in Minecraft ever because this house now has working lasers on it. You know, we've created a house that had security cameras on it. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video, check it out right now. But now we've actually added lasers to it and now it's made the most secure house in the world. Now these lasers, you literally cannot walk through them because if you decide to walk through them, you know what the result is going to be. You're going to be going bye byes because these things will kill you almost instantly. So you're going to be very careful uh, if you uh, or if you if you're walking near them. Uh, you don't want to walk into them. So today we are going to be checking out my mansion, which has been secured, and then I'm going to show you guys how this mod actually works because it is crazy. Um, do note that this is an unreleased mod, uh, so you won't be able to download it today. But in the future. I will be releasing a download link. So maybe if we get like, I don't know, 5,000 likes on this video, uh, I might release this mod. So if you do want to see the download link, go ahead, snap that like button. But anyway, let's go ahead, let's check this out right now. Alrighty, so you probably would have seen behind me here, uh, the front entrance to my mansion here. However, if you can see it, I'm pretty sure you can see it, we have these deadly lasers coming across here, protecting anyone from coming inside of my uh, my huge mansion here. And not only do we have it at the front door, we have it at the garage here as well. We have it on the side of our house because we have multiple doors. We need to protect every side of our house here. Have a look at this. Lasers here. We also have security cameras set up around the house here. And we're going to check those out in, the, in a minute here and uh, show you guys that we have visual access of the uh, whole entire house here so we can see in case any other players or even mobs are coming towards my house so that's a very useful useful thing about that now let's imagine this right now we're like a player and we're wanting to get inside of this mansion here what happens if we do actually walk through these lasers because i said that these are deadly lasers and you would die almost instantly so let's see maybe we'll try and walk through the garage ones here all right here we go here we go oh Okay, <laughs> we just died almost instantly. We literally cannot get through those lasers there. Hold on, let's go back. Um, why did I spawn over, the way, over there? That's weird. Let's see if we can even run through them. Let's see if we can run through. Oh, oh okay, okay. So even if you you can kind of run through it, but the thing is, you actually get damaged so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> those things are so powerful. You really do not want to be... Um, you know in those lasers for any more than like half a second or so a half a second or something like that Otherwise, uh, you'll most likely die. However, let's go ahead and what we're going to do is um, You know actually deactivate these lasers because you can turn them on and off in case you want to get inside of your house here So we're gonna go ahead. Oops Let's go ahead. Let's grab this out. So we need to grab a laptop out here So this is actually an add-on to my device mod here so we're going to place a laptop down here. We're going to connect connect to the lasers network here. So is that working? Hold up. What's going on here? How come we can't connect to this lasers network? That's kind of weird. Are we like locked out or something like that? All right. So I'm just going to quickly come up to my uh, room up here because I'm pretty sure this one here is actually connected to it. Uh, and if we go to the home security manager application, on the laptop here, we will actually be able to uh, control all the lasers throughout my house here. Now, um, they're kind of not named at the moment, and I could have named them, but I didn't. Uh, but if we actually just deactivate uh, a lot of these lasers here, we should see that they are now off. I'm pretty sure there's first three of the front doors. So if we go down to the front door now, uh, there we go. So those, bo those bottom two are now turned off, and we can actually get ac access to our mansion here now. We're not, we're not done there, we're not done there. I said that this is the most secure house ever. So if we actually go inside here, have a look at this. Uh-oh. We have lasers all throughout our house here. This is, this is crazy. We've got lasers, we've got another security camera over there. And look, <laughs> look at young Greg here, he's stuck in the midst of all these lasers. He's like, I can't move, I've been here for three weeks. I can't move. These lasers are too deadly. Um, but yeah, you can imagine like imagine if someone got into your house like you know They bypassed the front door here, you know They've still got to deal with all these here. So let's go into game mode s 
And let's see if we can get around these lasers here, because these... This is crazy. We can't deactivate them. Uh-oh, here we go. All right, let's go around here. Uh, can we jump over that? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. That was, that was a little bit dangerous there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can just go straight under here. Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So, yeah, just to prove that it still does actually do damage, we just walked through it then, and uh, it just damaged us. Uh, but there we go. We got past the uh, lasers here at the kitchen, and we should be able to go back up. Uh, to our uh, gaming room here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's deactivate a lot of these lasers here So um, you can select the lasers from the list here And then it will show you if it's on and off with this kind of image here and also the button there So let's go to here um, Let's turn a lot of these off because we want to be able to move around our house a little bit more free here um, Let's see what that looks like now. So I'm pretty sure we deactivated the ones in the kitchen did we okay? There's still some on there, but Let's check out the actual security camera footage, um, our security network inside of our house here, and uh, let's give a look what this actually looks like. So we got the front door here. Looks like nobody's there. We should turn them back on, to be honest. We should probably turn them back on. Uh, we got the front door here. Uh, let's see what else we got inside of the house. Uh, number two here. Oh, uh, so the side door. Oh, the lasers are still on here. The lasers are still on, so definitely nobody being able to get through that side door in my house. Uh, let's head back here and um, let's go to three here. Okay, this is the backyard. No, no, no lasers needed, but uh, there we go. Um, what do we got number four here? Oh, the pool. It's a view of the pool area. That's pretty cool. Uh, we need to see some lasers. Where's the lasers at? Okay, this one's a weird one. I don't know what that one is. Six. Oh, oh, here we go. This is the one that I was looking for. This is the one that I was looking for. Look, <laughs> we can see young Greg. He doesn't even know we're looking on the, uh... oh, he does. Ah, young Greg, we're not here. We're not here, all right? We're not here. He's looking at the security camera. How does he know we're looking at it? He probably hears it moving or something like that. I don't know, but we can see that he's stuck there in the lasers. Nobody's going to be able to get through here. Like, you know, you know, they have to get through the lasers, but what if you're watching on your security camera? You've got like even more security here, so that's absolutely crazy, and that's that's insane. How do we do, how do we zoom in equals or minus? Oh, <laughs> hey there, young Greg. <laughs> that's very weird. That's very weird. Look, there's a good thing. The light switch controller that looks pretty cool there. So I would have to say that this is probably the most secure house ever inside of Minecraft. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what else would you add to this? Because we do actually have the security craft mod installed on here so we could you know add so many more things to this so we have like you know uh, what else we got in here we have like keypad so we could have more security around the house password protected furnace portable radar we have an alarm there's so many things in this mod um, we should definitely you know make this house even more secure you know I said that this is the most secure house in Minecraft and it probably is just because of the lasers but we should probably make it even more secure. Let's go ahead, let's take out the quad here because what I want to do is I want to show you guys how you can actually, you know, use this mod to set it up in your own house once it is released because it is really, really simple. So um, I'm thinking we might actually, you know, make um, the bank here a little bit more secure because um, it doesn't really have that much security. Um, Sir Piggles has got a vault down below. Uh, if you actually flick this lever here, it will reveal a hidden staircase under the floor which will take us to, um, you know, Sir Piggles' vault here. Um, he does have this really crazy combination um, here, which we're not gonna, we're not gonna flick any of the levers because it is a super duper crazy combination. But what we should do is add like lasers all throughout um, the vault here. So even if somebody does actually get into the vault here, if they want to steal the gold, it's gonna be a very, very difficult task. So let's go ahead and let's grab out some of um, the lasers and the shield pads because shield pads are basically the thing that the lasers need to go into otherwise they will damage the walls. So what we need to do is let's place some shield pads down um, everywhere here. So we're gonna have it like this. Uh, we might have one over here and then we might have one that goes down there. So let's go ahead and how, do you, how we actually do this is we right click a shield pad with the laser and then place the uh, laser where, where you want it to start from. So let's create, uh, let's right click over there, let's have a laser coming in from maybe up there. Uh, we'll have a laser, hmm, where can we put one? Can't put it there. Let's go, oh hold on, we need to right click this one here. Uh, let's have it come from maybe here and then we'll have one, where can we put this next one? 
Do you reckon we can get one and put it here? Let's have a look. Hold on. We might be able to actually put one over here. Nope, okay, it doesn't look like we can do it there. We have to actually make it so it's in the view, otherwise it will not actually um, work. We should probably move this one. Can we move this one? Let's move that up there. All right, here we go. Have a look at this. The vault here has now been secured with lasers. Have a look at this. So if we go down here, you can see we're gonna have to jump over these if we wanna get access to all these gold. We also have some ones at the top here, so you probably don't wanna hit your head on those either, but this is looking pretty good so far. Let's go back up to the top here, and um, we've basically secured the vault there. Let's go ahead, let's close that up. Maybe we wanna add some security into the bank here, so people can't walk around here at night time. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab out some more of the lasers here. So laser and, la and shield pad. And what we want to do is make it so this area here is like completely protected. So we could have like literally... Right, I've got an idea. Okay, let's try this instead. So we're going to put the pads here. And then we're going to have the lasers coming across from the other side. Oh my god. This is literally like a laser floor right here. Nobody's going to be able to get in. Nobody is going to be get going to be able to get in at all. Let's go ahead and grab out some ethernet cables here. And uh, we'll add them. Oops, wrong one. Let's uh, hook all these up. We're actually going to create a new router here just because routers at the moment kind of have a device limit. So we're going to place one there and then do that like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll connect connect to that second router. And then we should see in here we have the lasers. So let's turn them all on right now. And we should have a really... Oh my god. <laughs> Oh god, okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to get out of here. I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to get out and nobody's gonna be able to get in either. So this is insane. Look at this. This bank is literally secure. No one no one is getting through here at all. Um Sir Piggles is gonna be very happy. Hopefully he'll be back soon um in these videos. I'm not sure where he's gone. He, um we tried we attempted to trap him. If you guys saw, we attempted to trap him. But uh, he's actually no, he's not in there. He's not in there. Must have been a, must have been like a squirrel or something. A squirrel or something, you know. Got in there. Let's see what happens. What happens if we do this? Oh, okay. There goes our ATV. <laughs> I want to put some lasers at the top here, just because people can actually jump over the top here. So I want to stop them, and uh, this will finally make the bank super duper secure. So let's grab out some more Ethernet cables here. Let's connect those up to the router. And uh, we should have the most secure bank ever inside of Minecraft here. Let's go ahead and turn them on as well. So there we go. These last ones in the list here. And there we go, guys. The most secure bank ever inside of Minecraft. This is absolutely insane. I love this. I love this. This is the best thing ever. It's literally the best thing ever. And let me know what you guys think of these lasers as well in the comments below because um, I don't think any mod actually really adds any cool lasers like this, um, especially not controllable by a working laptop because this is actually an add-on to my device mod. Plus with the implementation of the uh, security craft mod and there are cameras, you can make one of the most secure bases ever inside of Minecraft. But that, my dudes, is going to end off this video today. Again, if you want to see this mod available for download, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. I think if we get 5,000, I will, I will release it immediately. So 5,000 likes. Let's see if we can actually do it. But anyway, I'll see you guys later for some more epic videos. Bye.